Using your GDC, find the x and y intercepts of the quadratic function f of x is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. So we're going to go to our GDC, go to a graphing mode, and put in our quadratic, which is 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit, so we'll do a window, uh, box zoom, so... Number four, zoom. Number two, box. And we'll box in on this bit here. So we get visible graph, press escape. Right, I'm going to go find that uh, the vertex again. So menu, analyze the graph, it's a minimum. So go to the left, go to the right. Okay, now to find the x intercepts, which is that one there and that one there, we need to do the following. So we go to menu, number six, analyze the graph, we go to what's known as zero rules, press number one, go to the left, and go to the right, I'm just gonna move the label a little bit so we can see it. Okay, and then you have to repeat that. So it's menu, number six, analyze the graph, go to zero rules, go to the left, go to the right. Okay, now to find the uh, y, intercept this one here okay we need to do the following menu number five trace and do a graph trace and then put in enter zero and you'll see a little zero appear down here press enter enter again and then you've got the zero okay so we've now got the x two x intercepts the y intercept and we've got the uh, point of the minimum point. Okay, so going back to my video, there's a screenshot of what I've just done. Okay, so draw a little sketch. Mark on the first x-intercept, mark on the second one, mark on the uh, vertex, which should be exactly halfway between these two. Okay, and then mark on the y-intercept, join the points up with a nice smooth curve, label the quadratic and then perhaps mark on that's minus 0 0.5 that is 3 that is minus 3 and this is according to that point are uh, 1.25 minus 6.125 the x intercept will be these two here minus 0 0.5 and 3 and the y intercept will be y is equal to minus 3 so this has been a video to show you how to find the x and y intercepts using the GDC. I hope you found this useful and thank you very much for watching.